Jadev is back at it, here to give everyone another Dexter Season 1 episode review video. Before I get into that though, pretty important if you're not caught up to the point where I am at rewatching or watching Dexter, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which of course, I'll mention as well as put in the description for you if that happens to be the case, you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further, simply to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be Dexter Season 1, Episode 6, titled this episode is called Return to Sender. This will be my review reaction recap after just finishing watching the episode. Starts off with Dexter trying to have breakfast with Rita and the kids, and then he gets a call to come to a crime scene, and the crime scene is actually the salvage yard that he had murdered the Castillos at. So he's only able to eat a piece of bacon and maybe grab some toast. I don't know for sure if he does that, but he mentions that. And when he arrives, he actually sees that Valley, Valerie Castillo's body is lying in the trailer where he had killed her and Jorge, despite having thrown her and his corpses into the ocean. So he thinks that the ice truck killer retrieved and planted the body there for some strange re reason. La Guerta, Dokes, and Deb discover a young Cuban boy, Oscar, who claims to have seen somebody take Valerie... Uh, into the trailer because Oscar was hiding in a trunk of a car and he could see through the keyhole. Dexter begins to fear discovery and actually has a nightmare of Deb being a serial killer, very similar, in fact, the same to what his, uh, his own ritual is. And then as the investigation proceeds, Dexter attempts to discredit each of his colleagues' leads on his own case. When Deb asks him to read her report on the killer, profiling a man sharing many of Dexter's char characteristics, his second he second guesses her theory, which pisses her off. And then worried about coming under suspicion, he throws his knives into the ocean. However, while looking at the blood slides that he has in the, the case, um, he he notices that Valerie Slide has a happy face etched into her sample, and Dexter comes to the realization that this is a hint from the ice truck killer leading him to go to the salvage yard and plant Jorge's fingerprints and knife burying a dry blood of Valerie's a dry blood sample of Valerie's uh, blood for Dokes's men to find. And then after successfully framing Jorge, for Valerie's murder, Dexter discovers that Oscar's description of the man who saved him from Valerie Castillo is, in fact, resembles Jesus Christ. Now, Paul, or I should say Rita, learns that her abusive Paul, or abusive husband Paul, has been released from prison, and he wants to attend Aster's birthday party. Uh, another thing, Dokes takes Deb to dinner with his mother and sisters, and uh, Deb actually is getting along with these people, which is a surprise. Uh, Dokes is not, wasn't thinking that was going to happen. Maria LaGuerta bonds with Oscar and considers adopting him until his uncle arrives to take him home. We see some flashbacks in this episode. A teenage Deb pleads with her father, um, Harry to bring her on his and Dexter's hunting trips. When Dexter for when Harry forbids her from joining them, she steals his gun and practices shooting cans by herself. And later on, Deb lashes out at Dexter in jealousy of the time that he spends alone with his fa their father when she is actually his real daughter. And Dexter, of course, is adopted. And then the last things that happen in the episode, Aster does end up having a great birthday party because what Rita did is she called Paul and told him, because of you were in jail, you have a restraining order. If you come here, I'm going to call your probation officer and I'm going to call the jail and you can't come here. And some of the parents of kids that were going got word that he might be there, so they weren't going to send their kids. But everything's okay. Everybody's there. And uh, when uh, Aster's supposed to blow the, the candles out on the cake to make a wish... Uh, that Rita says, don't tell anybody. She's like, it's already came true. True, Dad's not here. So she's pretty happy about that. And then the episode ends with Dexter, I think, putting a new lock on his door or another additional lock on his door to his apartment and uh, saying that a storm is coming. So pretty interesting stuff. I think it was a 
a good episode for a few people. Deb, even though some of her stuff got discredited, even though it was actually correct information, uh, which is surprising because usually Dexter is the one that points Deb in the right direction for things. LaGuerta had a really strong bond with this uh, this kid, which I think was, you know, it painted Maria LaGuerta in a, a different light than we've seen. Dokes is just trying to ignore family members, which is sad because, you know, he was framed for the Bay Harp Butcher stuff and we didn't see any of his family members. Um, I think he had one person at his funeral. I don't recall exactly what it was. So as far as the score of this particular episode, I'm going to give it an 8.6 out of 10. I think it was suspenseful in the fact that Dexter thought he was going to get caught. So he started, you know, gathering up all of his stuff that would implicate him and throw it into the ocean. And uh, the character of the episode, I'm going to give to La Guerta because, well, she did enough to uh, make me think that she deserves it. Although you, one could argue it could be Deb in this particular episode. So you've heard what I had to say, or you've already heard what I had to say. So now it's, of course, your turn. I want to hear your thoughts on this episode of Dexter Return to Center. Uh, if you're a fan of Dexter, if you're a fan of Dexter New Blood, or if you like the stuff that I have on JDev TV, which is a lot of random stuff, or if you just want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, go ahead and smash that like button. If you want to share this video, please do so with somebody or on your social media platforms. Sound off in the comment section about your thoughts on this episode. If you can remember it very well, what would you score it? And whom would be your standout character of the episode aside from Dexter, unless Dexter has a crazy episode? And last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. I'm always trying to grow the channel. Of course, that's something that I need help doing. Subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.